In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create playable, editable keyboard patches in Gig Performer 3, as well as the four ingredients you need to get maximum songs per patches so you can do less work and more play. Let's jump in. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with building stable live keyboard rigs, with mastering sound design, and with the ins and outs of Ableton Live. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, so we're gonna create a playable, editable patch in Gig Performer 3, but before we do, we need to talk about the four essential ingredients for you to get the maximum songs per patch. So, take out your notebook. Here is what it is. Ingredient number one, an on-off switch. Ingredient number two, your sound. Ingredient number three, audio effects. And ingredient number four, volume. That's right, just those four things are gonna make your patches immensely more playable. So let's go ahead and see how we can set that up in Gig Performer 3. So we'll wanna start by navigating to the back side of this rack space, which you can quickly do by hitting Command T. And ingredient number one is an on-off switch. So we're gonna create that by using a MIDI filter. So right mouse click, MIDI processor, MIDI filter. Okay, and I am gonna go ahead here and rename this piano on off. And it's really important to label these things because as patches grow, you start to get a little bit lost here. All right, I'm gonna do another one for my pad sound. I'm gonna rename this pad on off. All right, there we go. Now ingredient number two is our sounds. So command P is gonna open up our quick plugin finder and I'm gonna choose contact for my piano. You'll make sure this is unchecked here. Um, contact, insert. And I'll choose the giant. I'll move this over here for now. And my second instrument, I'm gonna use Pigments 2. And if you wanna grab a copy of that, I have got a link for you to do so in the description below. And for this one, I'm gonna use just a simple pad sound. Okay. Ingredient number three, audio effects. So in this situation, I really like to use Serum's audio effect unit, and I'll put uh, a link for this below as well. But the reason I like this so much is in Gig Performer, everything is like an individual plugin. So having all of my audio effects in one place is really nice. Um, so I like to use distortion, like to use reverb, and I like to use a filter. And I'm actually gonna just duplicate this so I don't have to do that again. And then I'm gonna rename them. Piano effects. And pad effects. And our last ingredient is our volume. So gain control. And I'll pop that in. Caption. Piano volume, and pad volume. Okay, so we've got all our ingredients here and now we need to connect them. So we'll go from MIDI in, to piano, into contact. Now contact has a lot of output, so you'll wanna make sure you're grabbing the right one here. I'm grabbing one and two into our volume to our audio output. Now when we hit the keys, we should have sound. It's in there, but it's quiet. Let's turn this up. Nice. Okay, and we'll do the same for Pat. So as you can see, Gig Performer is really flexible. You can basically build anything you can dream up. If you're new to Gig Performer, let me know in the comments below. If you've been using for a while, let me know how long. And if you've gotten value out of this video, please click that like and subscribe button. But we're not done. We're gonna head over here back to the other side and create a way to control what we've just set up. So I'll enter into edit mode and I actually like a larger panel. So if you right mouse click and choose convert to 3U, and you can choose a color from down here. And now I've got this beautiful space I can design things. 
So back to our four ingredients, which are ingredient number one, volume. I'll use a vertical black slider, and if I just hit the two, it's gonna create two for me. We'll separate them out this way. Ingredient number two is our VSTs, which we will use labels to represent. Can click in here and come down to general, and I'll choose piano. And pad. Ingredient number three is audio effects. So drag in my three blue knobs, hit three twice to drop them vertically. And I'll do the same, but with purple knobs on this side. And ingredient number four is an on off switch. So I'll bring in two of the. Just like that. All right, now we gotta map these and Gig Performer makes it really easy. So let's start with piano volume. If we head down to plugin, we're gonna choose piano volume and gain. Uh, now we'll go ahead and do our on off switch. And we're actually gonna do this using a MIDI filter as I mentioned before. So we'll choose piano on off. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose note on and then choose value and invert value, that's gonna give you an on off switch. We'll do the same thing over here, but we'll do it with our pad. Scroll all the way down, on, invert value. Now let's do our audio effects. So like I mentioned before, Serum is what I like to use for these because it's really easy to have it just all in one place. So piano effects, and I'm gonna click learn parameter so I can map these really quickly. So my bottom knob is gonna go to my filter cutoff. My middle knob is gonna go to reverb. and My top knob is going to go. Now we'll head over here to this guy. We'll choose my pad effects. Learn parameter. And my bottom one on the filter. My middle one on the reverb. My top one on the drive. All right, so we'll go and test it now. Turn piano on, filter, reverb, drive, volume, and we'll see for the pad. All right, and our last step here, guys, is to map these to a controller. So for my gain, all I've got to do to map this is choose MIDI and learn. And we're just going to go through and click and move. So I'll move this here, my on off switch, filter, reverb, drive, volume, on off switch, filter, reverb, drive. Exit edit mode, and now. I've got a playable patch and this type of setup with our four essential ingredients is going to give you tons of songs per patch because you can create a ton of variations. But if you want to work more closely with me to build an ideal keyboard setup, either in Gig Performer or in Ableton, then I want you to go into the comments below and book a private session with me. And if you're still on the fence about Gig Performer, I want you to check out this video that's really gonna help you decide. If you got value, click that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time at Live Keyboard.